Drake. They telling me that DJ Custer, I mean DJ Mustard, is out here having a hissy fit on Twitter. They said that the success of Not Like That, guys, I noticed that I was calling Not Like Us, Not Like That. I made a mistake. Please don't jump in the comments having a hissy fit because I called Not Like Us, Not Like That. Thank you. And Kendrick Lamar could not help that man not flop. He still flopped with record of the summer. He produced record of the summer and he still flopped. And I love his album. His album is fire. I think I love damn near every track on Mustard's album, but he is not DJ Khaled. And these DJ albums, these little mashup albums that they put out, they never do well. But I think he just thought because he produced not like that, it was going to be a little bit better. So he went on Twitter and the first thing he said was these Drake bots are the nation of Drizzlem. Drake is the Malcolm X of white people and academics. Make sure you post Gordo season first week since Drake thought he did a thing with making him drop on the same day as me laughing. So if y'all don't know, Gordo is Drake's producer. And the other day, Gordo did an interview and he was saying that, you know, Drake is so happy and he's passed the beef. He's in the interview talking about everything but Kendrick Lamar and the beef. And all he said regarding the beef was that Drake is happy and has moved past it. So you telling me in an interview where they had a chance to let the world know that it's up and it's stuck. They said nothing about Mustard. They said nothing about Kendrick. But now all of a sudden, they put their album out, which is a totally different genre from DJ Mustard's album. If y'all don't know, Gordo produced Honestly Nevermind. That's Drake's house album. So Gordo's album and Mustard's album is totally different. And I want to know, which one of y'all heard that Gordo was dropping the same day as Mustard. Oh, this is going to be a producer battle. Nobody was even talking about that, Mustard. So, okay, his album came out the same day as yours. Nobody looked at that like it was a thing. You thought it was a thing, okay? Let's just put all of that in perspective. So then Mustard said, album sales are a form of white supremacy. You niggas racist. You know, every nigga who don't sell well, every nigga who don't get good numbers, they always got some conspiracy theory about numbers. Oh, it's white supremacy. This is the white man's metric. You know, like every nigga who don't get a Grammy, and I know the Grammys, the Oscars, they're all a bunch of bullshit, right? But it sounds cooler when the niggas who actually win Grammys and Oscars shit on the Grammys and Oscars, not the niggas who will never win one. So the niggas who don't sell albums talking about Old numbers ain't shit. You just sound like you mad. You sound like you upset. So then he responds to a nigga named Thomas O'Malley who said, it's only racist when your album flops. If your album sold well, you be flexing your sales. And that's a fact. If Mustard's album did good, he would be out there thanking Kendrick. Oh, yeah, we did this off Not Like Us. It started with Kendrick. You know how we was doing it. We took over the summer, nigga. DJ Mustard back. I lost this weight because I knew it was time to get in the studio. It was time to work. That's what that nigga would be saying. That's a fact. That nigga shit flopped. Oh, man, it's fuck Drake. It's fuck this one. Like, come on. And his response to Thomas O'Malley was, your name it's Thomas O'Malley, which I'm not going to lie. That was funny. The nigga's name is Thomas O'Malley. But DJ Academic said, Faith of a Mustard Seed, which I just told y'all, I love the album. It only sold 18K first week. It was a flop, okay? Mustard, it's okay, bro. Your album flopped. Just pray you can produce another song like Not Like Us, and you'll get another chance at this. You still young, bro. You still producing. If Kendrick is smart, he will be letting you produce most of his next project. You got time. You got time, bro. Keep faith alive. You lost that weight. 
you can get another hit. Okay? It's discipline. It's patience, Mustard. You don't have to get mad at the light-skinned boys. They did nothing to you. All right? Let me know what y'all think about this. Like the video and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Peace. Hey, nigga, donate. Hit the super chat. Scan the PayPal. Hit the cash app. Thank you. Have a blessed day.